Welcome to our training on how to list products one by one. You'll need to upload and list your products in Seller Central to sell them in the Amazon store. In this video, we'll review step-by-step -step instructions on how to list products one at a time using the Add a Product tool in Seller Central. To begin adding products, select the menu icon in the top left-hand corner of Seller Central. Hover over Catalog and select Add Products. You'll use the search bar on this page to check if other sellers have listed the same product that you'd like to sell in the Amazon store. If so, you'll match your product to the existing listing and add your offer information. If the product you want to sell isn't already being sold in the Amazon store, you can create a new listing and we'll create a new product detail page for you. Let's review how to create an offer for an existing product. Then we'll walk through how to create a new product listing. Type your product's name or identifier into the search box. We recommend using a product identifier such as a UPC, EAN, GTIN or ISBN for the most accurate results. You can use the options under the Filter by Category section to help narrow down your search results. Once you've located the product you'd like to list, choose its condition and select Sell this product. If the product you search for is part of a variation family, you'll see a Show Variations drop-down menu. Select it, choose the product you'd like to sell from the list, select a condition, and then click Sell this product. If Not Available appears next to your product, select the Show Limitations drop-down menu to review the reason and click Learn More for further details. If you see an Apply to Sell button next to a product, it's either a restricted product or requires approval before you can sell it in the Amazon store. Select the button to open a selling application. To view the status of a pending application, select the menu icon in the top left corner of Seller Central, hover over Catalog and click View Selling Applications. Once approved, you can list your product in the condition you chose. Once you've found and selected your product, enter the offer information into the Offer section. We've marked all required fields with an asterisk symbol, but recommend you also complete the Seller SKU field. You can add your own item number or a unique identifier you use to categorise your products to easily compare what you've listed in Seller Central to your own records. Seller SKUs are also often used by third-party integration tools to tie systems together. If you leave this field blank, we'll generate a random alphanumeric SKU for you. Keep in mind that you won't be able to change the product's SKU once you select Save and Finish. You can select Required, Relevant or All Attributes to view and complete more optional fields, but you'll also be able to add them to your listing once you've created it. When you've completed the required fields, as well as any optional fields, select Save and Finish to create your offer. Now, let's walk through how to list a new product in the Amazon store if it didn't appear in search results. You can either select I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon from the product adding page or select the Create a new listing button from the search results page. Once you've chosen to create a new listing, you'll see the Select a product type page to search and select the category that's most relevant to your product. You can type a category in the search bar or scroll through a list of options. If you often add products from the same categories, select the star icon next to those categories. These selections will appear under the Favourites section for easy access in the future. After you find the category that best describes your product, select it to continue. Depending on the category you chose, 
you might need to browse multiple levels of categories and make a more specific selection. This level of detail helps ensure that we display the correct information, as well as attribute fields for you to complete as you list your product. Once you've made your selections, click the Select button. If a lock icon is shown next to a category, it means the category is restricted or requires approval before you can create a product listing. Click the Learn More link next to the lock icon for more information. Once you select a category, you'll arrive at the page where you'll create your listing. Click through each tab and complete all required sections with your product's information. We've noted required fields with an asterisk. Hover over a question mark icon for more information. A pop-up window will appear with instructions on how to complete the field and give you the option to provide feedback. Use the Report an Issue section to let Amazon know if a field or options provided in a drop-down menu aren't relevant to your product. If you don't provide all required information, it could result in an unsuccessful listing creation, meaning you might receive quality alerts or your products could become suppressed from customers' search results. You can also select the Attributes options to reveal additional tabs and fields, which are optional but allow you to provide additional details about your product. You can also complete these fields after you've created your listing. While creating a listing, follow Amazon's quality standards. Adding rich information like properly formatted titles, high resolution images on white backgrounds, detailed product descriptions and bullet points helps customers make informed purchase decisions. Adding precise optional information also helps increase your listing's discoverability. To review Amazon's suggested listing quality guidelines, search Listing Quality in Seller Central. When you create your listing, note that if you have products that are similar in nature but differ from each other by a single factor, like colour, you don't have to add each of these product variations separately. Instead, you can create a single variation family for these products. When your product has variations, it has a parent ASIN and one or more child ASINs or child variations. For example, if you sell a shirt in different sizes and colours, the shirt represents the parent ASIN. The shirt's variations, such as blue and medium, represent child ASINs. Customers won't be able to see or purchase a parent ASIN and its sole purpose is to hold the variation family together. Once the variation family is created, you can view the parent ASIN on the Manage Inventory page. To get there, select the menu icon in the top left corner of Seller Central, hover over Inventory and select Manage All Inventory. You can check if other sellers have listed the product variations you'd like to sell by returning to the Product Adding tool and follow the same steps mentioned earlier in this video. If a listing already exists, you'll match your offer to the existing listing. Let's return to the listing workflow and review how to create a variation family. Select the Variations tab and choose the variation type. This represents the factor that differentiates each of your products, like colour. The field that appears will depend on your selection. For example, if you selected colour as your product's variation type, you'll be prompted to indicate each colour you'll list for the same product. Then click Add. You can repeat this step for each product you'd like to create within this specific variation family. Update each child ASIN with your offer information. This includes the seller SKU, product ID, condition, price and quantity. Note that no two child ASINs can have identical offer information. Required fields for each item are marked with an asterisk and highlighted with red borders. 
The product information you fill out in the form's other sections will be copied across each child ASIN. But you can make changes to each child listing individually once you create the variation family. Once you create each child ASIN, you'll need to add images by editing each child ASIN individually. Once you've completed the form, check for one or more red exclamation marks. They'll guide you to any fields you missed or errors you made while creating the listing. Then, click the Save and Finish button to create your listing. Once submitted, the listing will be reflected in your inventory within 15 minutes to 24 hours. This concludes our training on how to list a product one by one. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.